Hello, this is Scott Kanoki. I'm with uh, Benson County Extension Service and I'm in Minnewaka, North Dakota today. And I just wanted to do a short demonstration on pruning an apple tree. And at this time, it's, it's late March, uh, early spring, so it's the time that we want to be uh, pruning before we get a lot of growth and stuff coming on. And that way we can uh, decrease any disease spread. What you'll need is just a regular pruners. And for some of the bigger branches, if you really want to get after it, we have some a big lopper and then also a Swedish saw for taking off some branches. And many times you can take the biggest bigger branches off with the big lopper and then and then use a Swedish saw to get up close on that branch collar. But what I'm trying to do is to open up this this canopy. I've been working on this tree for a couple of years and just trying to open it up a little bit so we decrease the amount of disease and stuff and. What I don't like sometimes, and some of our trees get so awfully tall, so I'm trying to train this one to have lateral branches coming out. And you can kind of see, see what I've done in the past a little bit here. And, and some of these are, you know, they want to grow right up, right up to the heavens. And pretty soon you're going to need a, an apparatus with a basket on just, just to get your apples. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prune out some of these branches that, that go awfully high up, up into the air. And there again, if they're growing into the canopy, you want to remove them because eventually they will cause rubbing on each other's branches and you can create a wound and that's just a, a perfect spot for disease to uh, take a foothold and, and, and get started. We've had a lot of fire blight these last couple of years, especially in some of the ornamental crabs and one particular one, a Zestar, had quite a bit in it. So by keeping this canopy open, we can uh, certainly keep that disease potential down and increase the airflow. And I'd just like to give you an example of a cut I made here. When I, when I make these cuts, I don't want to dig into the branch itself. I just want to be, you know, right on that branch collar and then it'll have a, a nice uh, cut that it, it'll help heal and you won't even know it's there in time. And you can see down here, there was, there was a cut here a prior year and it healed up and uh, is doing just fine. Um, I talk about some of these branches growing inside here. We kind of want to thin them out a little bit. There again for added circulation and one thing Tom Kelb told me when I first started pruning trees, he said, you show that tree who's boss. You're not going to kill the tree. But one thing he did caution me on was don't cut off more than 25% of the branches in one particular year. Otherwise, it's a bit of a shock to the tree and it takes a little more time to recover. So if you just keep up at it annually, you can, you can keep it clean.